What's up guys, let me set the stage a little bit here. This is me, James. I go to medical school. I don't actually use pencils. This is Carrie. She married that James guy we just talked about. What a great person. Oh yeah, she is also in graduate school, a master's program. That's crazy. This is baby G. She's a toddler. Yeah, she doesn't care. Needless to say, with both of us in graduate programs, having a baby, sometimes it feels like we bit off more than we could chew. And Carrie and I were actually discussing it the other day, and we came up with a few ideas about how we were able to make it and not only survive, but thrive. Number one, teamwork is the only way to make things work. Both of us have to pull our own weight when it comes to you know, cleaning the house, watching the kid, making sure we don't starve. I mean, it would be easy for me to say, for her to say, you know, I'm in a graduate program, I got a lot on my plate, I'm gonna let the other person handle it. I'm telling you right now, if that, if that was the case, it would definitely not work. And if the other person has a really busy day, you know, you gotta step it up and maybe even do a bit more than they do. Wash those dishes, you know, it's just dishes. Another point is that you have to play to each other's strengths. Everyone has a different personality. I tend to get distracted really easy. Procrastinate. Carrie is really on top of things though, very organized, and that has really helped me get to where I am right now, even right now. Like even getting into medical school would have been a lot harder without Carrie there to help me stay organized, get the things done I needed to do. On the flip side of that, I'm really good at knowing, hey, we need to take a break, we need to step back, let's go do something fun, take our minds off the stressors of life, and that has been equally as helpful in our relationship. And that kind of brings me to my next point, is that you have to find something that you and your significant other enjoy doing together. And it's turned out to be rock climbing of all things. We decided to take the financial jump, get all our own equipment so that we could just go out there, have fun. Lucky for us, we live in an area that has tons of rock climbing. So the last thing we talked about I need to work on, and that is being present, being where you are. You know, it's easy with phones, computers, tablets, social media to be somewhere, but not really be there. I am guilty. You know, if you're gonna be with your family, be with your family. If you're gonna be at school, be at school. Study hard so you have time to do other things besides study throughout the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Here is a link to a previous video and a subscribe button. Hey, imagine that. Click it if you want. It's up to you. I keep messing with my glasses. First time to an optometrist, I was talking to him and like within the first two minutes he said I should be a pediatrician. So that was kind of interesting. Not the first time someone's told me that. I don't know why. We'll talk to you later. Good luck. Thanks for watching.